Well, when you consider what they're getting up in the northeast right yeah. now, we're doing gonna, okay, huh? Yeah, going to continue to get it, too, and it yeah. looks like it. we'll see some cooler weather, as we talked about uh, yesterday, uh, uh, now and again across our area. Tonight will be one of those nights, and on the beaches, we still have some issues there. We have rip tides, uh, rip currents. You can see those high waves are moving onshore. All that water has to get back out there, so it kind of creates a channel of fast-moving water, which if you get trapped in, boy, it can be very dangerous and uh, does kill a lot of people here uh, in the Florida waters as a result of the strong winds. Well, it's back. The cool weather and red tide. The latest report has come in, and people are calling up and uh, complaining about the irritation they're being felt along the area beaches in Sarasota County. It's not in Manatee County at this point, and uh, it is, uh, though, bringing up the concentration in uh, the coastal waters there in Sarasota County, especially from Venice southward. And you can see the reports Sarasota had 22 samples to background to medium concentrations. Medium concentrations can cause fish kills, and you see quite a few of those. Uh, being reported into Charlotte County, also down into Lee County, and now spreading northward into Sarasota County. So uh, that is a problem. Again, you can uh, uh, file your own report, too, if you go to some of the area beaches. You have that problem with red tide, go to FWC, and uh, you can actually file a report there so they help them out. Uh, as far as uh, our Titan radar goes, no rain around now, uh, just uh, some showers well down to the south in the Florida Straits. And as far as our current conditions go, we have sunshine, but it is cool out there, 63 degrees. And the dew point temperature, 41. Winds out of the north, northwest at 10, and it has been rather brisk throughout this afternoon. The pressure continues to rise, and with a rising barometer, we can expect a clear skies overnight. 73 the high, a couple degrees shy of the normal, the record way up there. And as far as the dew point temperature goes, this is a number that we look at for predicting overnight lows. And it's down in the low 40s. It's considered pretty low here. In the 20s in Orlando, 28 in Jacksonville. I don't think we'll see low 40s because the winds will be up and it kind of mixes the atmosphere up a little bit. But we will see lows definitely into the upper 40s. Now, some high clouds occasionally streaming on by, but generally sunny skies expected on Thursday and Friday. But with all that sunshine around and a north wind, it's not going to warm things up all that much. Temperatures will be below seasonal averages right through uh, Friday afternoon. Now, as far as the uh, forecast goes tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds. I mentioned some of the high clouds around, but generally sunny skies. Highs only into the low to mid 60s tomorrow with a north wind. It will make it feel a little bit cooler. So we'll start off into the 30s in Tallahassee tomorrow morning. 43 in Jacksonville, 53 in Fort Myers. Sarasota downtown should be right around 51 degrees. And then highs tomorrow only into the mid 60s here along the west coast of Florida. It's cool across the entire state as this front will make its way all the way down into Cuba. And an even colder start on Friday morning. We're talking mid 40s, even some low 40s inland uh, in places like Orlando. Get down to 44 degrees there and then highs on Friday. We'll get back still into the upper 60s only. So a pretty uh, cool couple of days, but not nearly as cold and snowy as they're seeing here. So a big snowstorm. Uh, Friday and Saturday for the Northeast and then look at on Monday and Tuesday. It'll be the third major snowstorm in less than 10 days taking shape over the Northeast with yet again blizzard like conditions and heavy snow forecast across the Northeast. So winter not over quite yet across the eastern two thirds of the nation. 22 in Minot, 45 in Memphis, Cleveland at 32 and then highs tomorrow into the 30s. Uh, Cleveland at 32, Detroit 35, Toronto 35 and Minot 21 degrees. Now the uh, long range forecast continues to call for this at least colder air than normal moving through the Great Lakes and the Northeast right on in through next week. So it's not going away anytime soon and we'll stay on the cooler side of things too here. For boaters, the small craft advisory remains in effect until 9. Then tomorrow, northwest winds at 15 knots and a moderate chop. So a little bit breezy out there in the waters. And the forecast tomorrow, 66 for your high cool. A chilly start on Friday morning. Saturday looks to be really nice, 75. And we lose an hour of sleep overnight. Spring forward, 70% chance for showers comes late Sunday and into Sunday night. Monday morning, a slight chance for a few lingering showers. Turning cooler again Tuesday. We'll be right back after this.